Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, GitLab along with the Apache. I'm going to refer the uh, official guide that they have provided. Uh, okay, uh, let's start. Uh, if you have a mail server already uh, set up on your VPS, um, just don't install this one. Uh, it will uh, support 25 and it gonna mess with your uh, already existing mail server. Just don't install this one if you have a uh, SMP server, I mean a mail server. Uh, uh, just copy this. And this is, oh, before that, I forgot to mention you have to gain the root privileges and do uh, update. Did you get update? Okay, uh, okay, now paste this one and uh, install. Press yes. After that, uh, copy this one and this one. Uh, this will take some time. Uh, don't think it, it is stuck at the 0%. Uh, it will take some time and uh, after that it will automatically download and install uh, the GitLab. I'm gonna post the video now. After the uh, installation I'm gonna resume this. Okay, uh, after that uh, we need to uh, don't run this uh, now we have to configure the uh, GitLab a little bit uh, okay uh, first of all uh, create a domain uh, we need that uh, domain address uh, so this is my domain. I'm gonna copy it and uh, Open up the notepad. Okay. Um, now, uh, open this file. Okay. here um, paste the domain that we created now and copy this thing paste copy this thing paste it copy this this it is pretty much copy and pasting so you don't have to worry just copy and paste copy and paste <laughs> okay uh, after that run this and it's gonna take some time i'm gonna pause this video again Okay, after that uh, we need to configure the Apache. So to do that, uh, I will uh, put these links on the description of the video. And uh, here you can see the uh, all the Apache versions. I mean, the 
uh, 2.2 version and 2.4 uh, versions configuration files for the GitLab and uh, what we installed is GitLab Omnibus version and I have Apache 2.4 and I don't need SSL right now so I'm gonna choose this one right here okay this is a virtual uh, configuration file and I'm going to see Apache okay, Apache 2 sites available then open git dot conf new configuration file it is pretty much copy and pasting copy and uh, paste pasting copy this paste it here uh, sometimes this uh, this uh, HTTP uh, slash logs uh, this directory is not uh, created uh, in my PV so I'm gonna create this uh, directory otherwise Apache gonna show some error messages uh, it is good to create this uh, directory or change uh, this part to uh, so uh, something very <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm not a uh, good uh, English speaker <laughs> it's not my mother language so I'm sorry for that and uh, in here let's copy and this is one okay I forget forgot to copy this one also because I need to create the directories um, okay um, change that's also in here Edit this copy this paste it right here okay save that and a to en site kit okay i'm gonna log so we have log log so log httpd and logs okay httpd cd httpd and table logs okay now i'm going to you start the Apache 2 service okay let's check whether it is working or not okay I I already logged into the uh, sorry uh, okay uh, I, I have already logged into the uh, uh, GitLab uh, web interface, so that's why it's uh, correctly show to uh, it says to change the passwords. Uh, otherwise, you will see the main uh, login window uh, of the GitLab. And uh, what we have to do is just type this username and password, and then you will see a window like this. In here, type your new password current password yes of course this this one and i'm gonna type one two three one two t uh, three set the password okay one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yes like this uh, after that root 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ok it is done ok uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, if you have problems uh, put them in the comment section and I will try to answer them uh, as soon as possible.
and good luck with the installation uh, the GitLab Omnibus version. Okay. Have a nice day.